Yo, yo, what's cracking, you two? It's your boy, Professor Crypto. Got another hot crypto class for you guys today. This one's on fire. You guys already know anything we bring on the channel. It's got the heat, got the potential, and it definitely should be watched. This one is so different, guys. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Class is now in session. This one is called Bit Oku. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Guys, Bit Oku is Japanese word for virtue. This is the world's first storage blockchain that people really want to use by being true to the four Bit Oku commandments. This is a quote directly from Mr. Bernie Bloom, who is the founder of Bit Oku Labs. On their website here, guys, they boast that you can become part of their exciting journey by getting your personal license to run a validator node. The launch of their public nodes sale is just around the corner to be precise guys in about five days and a few hours the countdown is at the top here of the page now before we get into the meat potatoes of this video guys let's just go over some of their key company highlights that I think are very important to be keeping in mind when considering this project. For starters, guys, this is a great opportunity to be part of a major crypto initiative from day one. Their private node sale, which took place in July and August of 2022, has been a great success and it raised over $660,000 from a limited closed group in the middle of the crypto winter. Everyone who's there at the launch on November 5th at 9 a.m. Pacific time, guys, can get founders nodes, which are licenses to run validator nodes in the BitOku blockchain that is being built. You can get it for as low as $200, guys, and the price increases by $100 for every 100 nodes sold. Now, if you guys do the math on that, you can see that the price point of these nodes are going to be going quite high very fast. These are going to be selling like hotcakes, guys, so it's definitely something that we want to keep our eyes on and not miss the boat. Now, guys, just as a quick comparison, comparing to something like Gala Games, with similar node price and concept, the Gala node today is at $96,000. If you missed out on Gala, guys, I mean, why not get Bidoku as low as $200? And if you're there by the launch time with the Solana Phantom Wallet funded with 0.1 Solana and as many USDC as you want to buy nodes for. The other thing to really to take into account here, guys, is their awesome affiliate program for influencers and just people that have a big network. You get an extra 5% rewards for 10 years and you're going to get these exact same 5% extra for each node owner that you brought also for 10 years guys so moving on on their website here they explain that bidoku is a blockchain that is being built to provide a distributed storage layer for solana programs aka smart contracts as well guys with the bidoku platform decentralized apps in web3 DeFi, and the metaverse can run not only on code but also access large files that are being stored on bidoku storage provider nodes millions of which are spread all over the world the bidoku Oku validator nodes up to 51,400 of them validate the storage transactions and monitor the storage providers. So before we go over how to participate in this project, let's answer some questions that I think are going to be fundamental in a sense that you guys are going to want to know before kind of jumping into the project, considering it as part of your portfolio and just in general moving forward with it. The company's mission is to accelerate the world's transition from a centralized control winner takes all mode towards a user community controlled censorship resistant tamper proof mode when looking at the problems that the company solves they have a smart contract developer solution for example web3 startups that are building apps and dApps today but they are severely limited because they cannot use storage for example large files on disks in their smart contract codes the same way that web2 developers can bidoku solves this guys by creating a blockchain based storage layer for solana smart contracts going over some of the team's background as well the founder and technical ceo mr bernie bloom as i mentioned at the beginning of the video a little quote by him that i found was very helpful in understanding the project he has been a low level close to the hardware programmer and serial entrepreneur since 1978 at age 13, he founded several startups before, lastly, private cloud computing by Chris Yoshida, working with Bernie for four years, who has extensive experience in sales and marketing and is a crypto enthusiast as well. Brad built a wireless telecoms provider from scratch and successfully sold it. Total team size of eight with experience in finance and metrics software development IT operations. So guys, let's go over how to participate here. 
Step number one, you're gonna get a Solana wallet. If you don't know how to do that, they actually provide the steps for that, which I think is very helpful. The Solana wallet that they strongly recommend is called Phantom. There are browser plugins available for each and every major browser. If you just visit Phantom apps forward slash download, and follow their instructions it's super easy to set up and also easy to use guys many people on the internet wish that metamask could be just as easily usable as phantom is you can take your time to install phantom and then create your new wallet you may also write down the secret recovery phrase on a piece of paper for security reasons you don't want to take any photos or screenshots or even copy the text of the passphrase to the clipboard instead just use good old-fashioned paper it can't get hacked after your new phantom wallet is installed, it should look something like this. Look at the screenshot here, guys. Wallet number three, and you have your amount, deposit, send, and your currency, Solana. Step number two, you're gonna fund your wallet, guys. Sign up for a crypto exchange if not already there. The exchange that they recommend is FTX. They're just great. They're not associated with them in any way. They will receive no commission or other benefits from them when signing up. They just think that they're great. In order to sign up for FTX, you go to FTX.com. For non-US customers or for US customers, you're gonna go to FTX.US. They're gonna guide you through their KYC process, so you'll need to upload a copy of your ID. Next step, guys, you're gonna wanna get your Solana tokens. In order to participate, you will need to have some Solana in your wallet. What is SOL? It is the native currency of the Solana blockchain. They are building a social storage on top of and integrated with the Solana blockchain. You're gonna need to get some soul. If you're already on one of the crypto exchanges like Coinbase, FTX, Binance, Kraken, etc., you can just buy your Solana there, guys, and then withdraw it from the exchange to your phantom wallet if you just enroll please note that it might take several days until the exchange allows you to withdraw your solana to withdraw your solana from the exchange into your wallet you're gonna need to enter your wallet address the one of your phantom wallet into the withdrawal form at your exchange for that purpose guys the phantom wallet offers an easy way to copy your wallet address so that you can paste it to your exchange please note that your exchange might charge you withdrawal fees for this. The nodes will be paid for in USDC and the USDC has to be in your phantom wallet. And it has to be the Solana variant of the USDC. So again, guys, that's USDC running on the Solana blockchain. The best thing is to put your Solana into your phantom wallet. And then within the phantom wallet, you can just swap your Solana into USDC, which is USDC coin. It's a stable coin that's tethered to the US dollar. So it's that simple. Click the phantom wallet and just swap your Solana into USDC before you can use your USDC to purchase the notes. Next thing you're gonna wanna do guys is visit Bidoku's node store. So you're gonna go to getbidoku.io and first off, you're gonna need to have your phantom wallet as a plugin in your browser. Please note that you cannot use the Phantom app on your phone to use a Bidoku node store. So you're gonna need the desktop browser plugin version. Some features like connecting to a hardware wallet don't work on Firefox guys, so it's best to use Chrome, Brave, or Edge. After you've installed the Phantom plugin browser, make sure that it's funded with SOL and USDC. Remember that the Phantom wallet only accepts the Solana variant of USDC, also called USDC SPL. A good place to get your USDC is FTX.com or FTX.US for those in the US. By the way, guys, they created the corporate account for them in less than 24 hours and you can withdraw it fast. You select wallet that you find in the upper right hand corner of your screen and you go from there. After that, you're going to create your account. Click on get notes. Then you're going to get this message below to create your node store account. You only need to set this up once guys, just click create node store account. They have a screenshot of that for us there guys. And again, we're gonna be asked to approve a minimal transaction fee that Solana is charging for creating your account. Bidoku is not charging a fee, so just click approve. So guys, then you're gonna buy your nodes. Just enter the number of nodes that you wanna have. Say you want three nodes, just enter it in the number of nodes licenses field and then you're gonna see how much you will have to pay for it. Then you're just gonna click buy now and approve the transaction in your Phantom wallet. You're gonna need some Solana in your wallet as well to cover the transaction fee. From there, you can collect and claim your Oku rewards. Go to my nodes page just a few seconds after you purchase your first node. You're gonna have a yellow collect more button so you can collect your rewards. 
You can do it at any frequency and then you can show how many you've earned and they will pile up second by second. Note that for every time you collect, you will have to approve a network fee from Solana. So collecting is different from claiming. So let's say you have 25 Oku and then you want to claim them. You could just put 25 and then hit claim max or to claim the maximum Oku available. After clicking claim, you're going to need to approve your transaction in the Phantom wallet along with the minimal Solana network fee. Now guys, up in front of me here is BitOku's light paper. Let's run through that real quick. It's only 20 pages long, but there are a few things here that I think are beneficial for us to note about the project. First thing, of course, is the four BitOku commandments. Number one, save the environment, don't use proof of work. Number two, true decentralization, owned and governed by you, the users. It can't be censored by any single entity. Number three, apps are everything. Enable an ecosystem of apps built on BitOku, such as Dropbox, like Experience Enterprise Backup, and restore or an S3 compatible key value store. Number four, works for all. Fast, scalable, low fees, can use simple devices and still and others for providing storage space. The power of three. Of course, the three is app developers, node and token holders, and the third users who are miners, storage providers, app users, storage consumers. They've got information about their tokenomics here as well, guys, on page nine. Lots to be noted here. When the mainnet goes live in 2023, Oku will be the medium of exchange to pay for data storage. BitOku is going to admit 1 million Oku tokens per day or 365 million Oku per year plus reserve for affiliates at 10%. 500,000 Oku per day, BitOku Labs Development and Management, 500,000 Oku per day shared equally among all node owners. The rewards will be emitted over a period of 10 years limiting the max supply to over 4 million Oku, including 10% affiliate reserve. The Platinum Nodes Oku PT will count as six Founders Nodes, so the Platinum Nodes have six times the rewards power compared to Founders Nodes. The Oku PT maximum supply ever is 1,400. The Oku Fund maximum supply ever 50,000. First 200 Platinum Nodes are reserved for BitOku Labs and the team. The next 100 Platinum Nodes sell for $100, then Nodes 301 to 400 sell for $200 and so on. The price increases by $100 respectively for every 100 nodes sold as I mentioned guys. Now let's go over what exactly you're buying. When you purchase a BitOku Platinum Node or BitOku Founders Node, you are securing a license to operate Validator Node in the future BitOku Social Storage Blockchain. You are not buying hardware guys, very important to note. Even before your node license will materialize later on by running a physical node later on, your node license as certified by Oku PT or Oku FND tokens in your wallet will start earning you Oku rewards each and every day from day one. They're gonna have two stages of validator node activation. You're gonna need to provide the computer hardware required to run the validator node in stage two. And also guys, they're gonna be communicating the hardware requirements as the launch date approaches in 2023. There are no hardware requirements whatsoever in stage one other than your phantom wallet. Note that the storage nodes will be different from validator nodes. The validator nodes are the backbone of the network with far superior economics than the permissionless storage nodes. For example, in stage one, you have some nodes in your node storage account which you can see on your My Nodes page. In stage two, you can finally run the BitOku Validator software on individual computers that are connected to the internet. Your physical validator nodes enabled by the Oku PT and Oku FND license can purchase today with the backbone of the BitOku network, verifying and validating that all of the storage nodes store and keep the data that they're supposed to and validating all transactions such as creating, copying, moving, or deleting files or objects, reserving storage space and redundancy levels. There's a ton of more information on their website here, guys. Within their light paper, I would strongly recommend going over it if this is a project that you are interested in learning more about. Again, their whole team is also listed on their profile, guys, as well as their LinkedIn's for full transparency and doxing of their team. In conclusion, guys, some closing remarks that I definitely want to leave you with in consideration of with this project. The Founders Nodes are basically software licenses to run their validator software in the blockchain that they are developing. These are not tokens. This is not an IDO or an ICO, guys. It is completely different. Besides validator nodes that are sold now, there will be millions of storage provider nodes different from the validator nodes in the future, dedicating spare storage space on devices like laptops or Raspberry Pis to the BitOku chain. 
The Founders Nodes earn rewards in the form of Oku tokens on a daily basis. Oku is a native currency in the BitOku storage blockchain and storage services will be paid for in Oku. The nodes start earning rewards the moment that they start purchasing them. They can use, they can see the rewards flowing in seconds after they purchase the nodes. It's fun to watch and people told them that it's kind of addicted to collect and harvest and then claim those rewards. Oku can be used to pay for storage services. Minimum storage prototypes will be available at okubin.com at the launch. Oku might be listed on exchanges next year. The nodes are not investments, guys. They are rights, which are licenses to be part of this major crypto breakthrough from early by running a validator node once the Bidoku chain goes live. In the private node sale, the small group, the node price went up $700 within 12 seconds. It is essential to be there at the launch time, guys, on November 5th, 9 a.m. Pacific time, which is 12 p.m. noon Eastern time. You want to have this chance to get in at a low price, trust me. Getting it early is not only going to give you a lower node price, the loads will also earn higher rewards. This is because the amount of Oku rewards emitted daily is fixed and shared among all nodes. So the fewer nodes that are in the beginning, the fewer nodes that you'll have to share the rewards with. It is essential to mention they need a Solana wallet. They recommend Phantom already went over guys and it needs to be funded before the launch. Otherwise you may miss out on the unique opportunity. Funding the wallet can take time. Sometimes guys, there's a seven to 10 day lockup on exchanges, which can be a hassle. I know, but it is something we have to go through. You better start now guys. If that's the case, you can purchase the founders nodes using the standard lane or angel lane. Angel lane gives the best chances to grab founders nodes at the lowest prices possible, but requires a minimum pledge. Again, avoid requires a minimum pledge of 1,500 USDC figuring out which lane to use and understanding standard versus angel lane is a fun gamification of purchasing founders nodes and it is challenging to understand your choices in the private sale 73 percent used angel lane shout out to all my students i love you shout out to the crypto class gang shout out to the lambo gang shout out to the whale gang shout out to the auto gang thank you for always your continued support guys i really appreciate it if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to smash that like button for me drop a comment in the comment section below please remember guys we are an impartial channel so whether the opinion is negative or positive we'd be more than happy to hear it that being said guys class is now dismissed we'll see you in our next video professor crypto out